thanks for watching. Uh, my good friend Bill uh, wanted me to come up here to the range and, and try the Heritage pistols at 125 yards. And and uh, he said the barkeep. So, uh, uh, <laughs> and he wanted us to try this with the 22 and the 22 mag to see what the difference was. Now that's a long ways for any pistol. Uh, and <laughs> it takes a little luck and some steady rest and uh, to hit that at this distance. Uh, so we're gonna give it a try and we're gonna be using uh, uh, the Heritage Bore Keep. And we've got, uh, Bill had sent us this and we're gonna be using that to poke the shells out with. And we're gonna be trying this in the 22 and the 22 mag. And so uh, uh, the first thing we're gonna do is try it with the 22 and we're gonna be using the CCI 40 grain 22 to long rifle, 1,235 feet per second, the clean shot. We're gonna give it a try. Now we got the camera set up. You'll be able to see it. Uh, you should, with no problem, be able to see it. If nothing don't go wrong. We got uh, some bottles set over there and a target, but we're just gonna shoot it. Up. We got a milk jug. We're gonna start with it first because uh, <laughs> that's a long way. And let's just see if we can hit a milk jug from here. Uh, and it's full of water. And we're gonna try the 22. And we're not gonna try to go through uh, uh, 20 rounds or something. We're gonna give it six rounds with a 22. And basically, I'm gonna try to show you uh, the drop on that. I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna be aiming, just uh, like this was the, the milk jug. We're going to be using this water bottle and try to show you where we're aiming and where the projectiles are actually hitting at this distance. So uh, we're going to load up with six of these clean shots and uh, seem to be pretty accurate in this little bar keep. Our friend Bill, he uh, really helps out a lot on a lot of uh, YouTubers, uh, helping them with some ammo and and some little supplies and uh, and different stuff and uh it's really appreciated and uh he asked us he asked me if I, we could do this uh he said that would be i think he said interesting to see or something like that and so we're going to give it a try now all right we're loaded up and i'm going to get this rest up here about where it's real comfortable and see if we can't get close to that. All right, right there. Now, now what I'm gonna do, we're gonna hold dead on that milk jug and just to see how much the drop is from here on the 22 uh, long rifle. All right, let's give that a shot. Let me get my plugs on here. And let's give that a shot. Okay, interesting enough, that looked like about <laughs> five foot back down the hill here. So that was holding dead center of the jug. All right, now. I'm going to hold right here at the lid on that milk jug and and see if there's uh if that helped us any. All right. And, and guys, I, I think I can't see that from here. You probably could see it better. But I think that went over top. So, uh, and, and it's kind of hard to pinpoint the lid on that jug from here. Uh, it's a lot of guesswork. And uh, so let me bring that back down. I, I don't think we hit the jug.
Okay, that was that was pretty close. And I'm holding. I didn't know if I'd went over top. I'm holding about right here on that milk jug, uh, in a scale, you know, uh, about right there. So, uh, all right, I'm gonna go on up just a little bit. Okay, that was a little to the left. I'm gonna bring that. It's hard to actually get where you need to be on here at this distance. And I'm not for sure where that projectile hit. Let's try it one more time with the 22. Okay, I mean, that's all the rounds there, guys. And with the 22, uh, let me tell you, uh, <laughs> I'm not for sure if we ain't, if we haven't already hit that jug, uh, but anyhow, we're gonna load up with a 22 mag and give that a try, and uh, just see how it does at this distance, uh, and give it a try. So let me change out the cylinders here now. On the 22 mags, we're going to be using the uh, 40 grain jacketed hollow point, 1850, uh, 75 feet per second, uh, maxi mags, CCI maxi mags. So uh, I'm going to load up with six of those. And then we'll give it a try. Uh, <laughs> Guys, at this distance with this little short barreled pistol, uh, uh, I'm trying, I'm getting it. It's real steady here. I mean, no problem there. Uh, but I, I just don't uh, think it, it's just so hard to get on that target from here. And uh, two of the rounds from the 22 long rifles, I'm not for sure where they hit. Uh, we could have hit the jug. I didn't see no dust flying up, and it's been dry for the last four or five days here in Kentucky, so, uh, uh, but I, I didn't see where those hit. You would have been able to see it better because, uh, you know, we got cameras over there. And so, uh, all right, let's try it uh, with the 22 mag and see what we can do. Kind of letting this wind uh, we got some uh, wind blowing. It's actually shaking the camera and trying to let that calm down before we shoot. All right, we're going to give it a try while it's calm here. Now, this is a 22 mag. I'm going to hold dead on. And to the left, I think. Let me give that another try. Okay, that one hit low. That one hit low. Now, uh, I'm going to try to adjust her just a little bit. To the left, and that one was to the left and high. Uh, guys, that was pretty close. That was holding about right here on that jug. And 
Uh, I don't think we hit it, but we get right dead in front of it. So uh, no problem holding up. And, uh, you know, not that much of a, a more of a, I thought it would be more of a drop than that from here. All right, let's give it a couple more tries here. way to the left and I was holding I think in the same place there guys and that's that well guys <laughs> I'll tell you what that's a long way for a 22 uh, bar keep uh, even with a 22 mag now, we're getting close there, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, guys, we're back at home, and we uh, kind of looked at that footage and to see uh, basically what was going on there, and it just wasn't persistent. Uh, some of the projectiles was going way to the left, high. One of them went real high, uh, way over top of that, and... And then, pal, you would hit pretty close. You was getting pretty close. So, I mean, at that distance, with a 22 bar key, uh, even with a 22 mag cylinder, it really didn't help. If anything, it was throwing the projectiles way to the left for some reason, not every time. And we was pretty much holding in the same place. So, uh, it's... Uh, I think it's just a little bit much for that uh, bar key. Could you hit it? Yeah, if you shot enough, you could, uh, uh, but not persistent uh, at that distance. So, guys, we give it a try. We've done our best. And, uh, Bill, we want to do that for you. And uh, just, to see, uh, just to see if we can do it. And uh, so we give it a try. And, but, uh, like I say, it's just... Uh, I think it's, it's a little bit too far for that uh, 22 bar keep uh, or the mag with the mag cylinder. So, guys, we give it our best shot, and uh, we've done that for you, Bill, uh, uh, just to see if we could actually do it. And, guys, remember, uh, we appreciate you watching. We thank you for all those views and comments. And uh, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss anything. And give us a big thumbs up at the end of the video. It seems to help. And we'll see you all the next time. Out at the range doing something like that on the walk without. Thank you ever so much for watching. We appreciate y'all.